Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you've been to the grocery store lately, perhaps you're asking yourself, are food shortages becoming worse? Why are there food shortages? We have supply chain disruptions. We have winter weather surges that are preventing trucks from getting through. We have the Omicron variant of the COVID pandemic that is raging across the world. The price of crude oil has gone up to $86 a barrel and maybe going as high as $100. The price of animal feed and fertilizer is skyrocketing. We have a shortage of truck drivers, including at the Canadian border. Canada is now requiring cross-border drivers to have a vaccine. That is preventing about 20% of the 180,000 drivers who typically go back and forth between Canada and the United States from being able to cross the border and bring the necessary goods. Shoplifting is out of control in many of the cities. California has train robberies. 90 containers per day are being robbed off of the trains in California. Manufacturers are producing fewer varieties of goods. There are food recalls for many reasons, including E. coli. What are the shortages? What are the items you may not be able to find in your grocery store? Well, the ones that I've noticed are paper goods, canned goods, chicken, eggs, meat, pet food, bananas, leafy greens, onions, luncheon meats, the children's lunchable packs, juices and juice boxes, cream cheese, and baby formula. It's a complicated reason why there are food shortages. The prudent thing to do is stock up while you can, while you can find the things that you want so that you're not going to be held hostage to rising prices buying things you don't really care about because that's all that is left on the shelves. So take this as a wake-up call. There are many reasons there are food shortages, but there don't have to be if you're a prepper. So stockpile the things that you want while you can still find them and they're still affordable. If you read what the experts are saying, the supply chain disruptions as a result of COVID-19, many brands are reducing the diversity of product offerings via stock keeping units or SKUs. General Mills corporate communications manager explained to CNN, if you think about your Progresso suit portfolio, we have nearly 90 varieties and within those we likely have several varieties of chicken noodle. Right now, our consumers and our retailers likely don't need the flavor variation, so we're minimizing the variety we are making. Did you read that? Consumers don't need variation. Michelle Wasilishan, the national spokeswoman for the Retail Council of Canada, said Canadians should have no concerns about food availability. There will be times when consumers will have to look for alternatives when the item they want isn't available, but there is food on the shelves. I would say the basics are still available. Everyone's still able to get bread, eggs, and milk. It seems more like specialty items that are missing off the shelves. Is anything besides bread, eggs, and milk a specialty item? Yes, there are shortages, and yes, we need to think of going to the grocery store anymore and think of it like a scavenger hunt because we can look for things that we do want because we simply can't find many of the items that we do want. That's why it's wonderful if you've been prepping and filling your prepper pantry and your food storage stockpile because how long is it going to be until there's panic buying and the few things that are left in the store will disappear. Some foods that are disappearing now that you want to make sure you have in your prepper pantry might include some of the basic foods like sugar, salt, flour, rice, beans, pasta, oatmeal, canned soups, vegetables, canned entrees that are ready to eat canned foods, and don't forget to stock up on water. 
you have basic foods, you can still provide food for your family. And no, it may not be what you want to eat, but at least you have something you can eat. So take an inventory of the foods you have on hand. Make a list of the foods you would like to add to the foods you already have so that you can make bigger, better meals. Then go to the store with those items in mind and think of it as a scavenger hunt. Go through the store. What can I find that will fill this need? Can I find an option that my family is willing to eat? But if you see something that looks interesting, just get one. Take it home and try it. You don't want to load up at the last minute on expensive foods that then no one likes because you've wasted a bunch of money. Just get one and try it and then you can go back and get more. Please keep adding to your prepper pantry food stockpile. Supply chain disruptions are not going away anytime soon. Maybe you remember back your parents or your grandparents saying, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.